This video explains how to manage exchange triggers through hosting controller. The triggers feature, in hosting controller, execute specified PowerShell commands of the creation, modification, or deletion of certain exchange objects. You may specify a certain exchange PowerShell command, in hosting controller and in return, it will trigger the command at the given event. Exchange triggers, can only be created by the topmost admin, also known as the global admin. As the global admin is the one performing all control operations and cluster configurations, it is also the admin responsible for creating exchange triggers. Lower level admins cannot define exchange triggers. To create an exchange trigger, log in into the control panel as the global admin. You will land on the dashboard. Navigate to the top right corner and click the configurations cog. Go to the Exchange Module Configuration section and click Manage Triggers. You will land on the Manage Triggers page. Click the Add Trigger button. Select the hypothetical Exchange Server, added with the Exchange Server role. This server is added with a friendly name, to the panel. It points to the actual Exchange Server, where the PowerShell command is to execute. To learn what server roles are, and how they work in hosting controller, see the video link below. Type the domain administrator for the actual exchange server. Type the password for the domain administrator. Type the name of the trigger. Select the exchange object for which the trigger is to be executed. The eligible exchange objects are mailboxes, distribution lists, mail contacts, and public folders. Select the event that fires the trigger. The trigger can be fired on create, update, and delete events. Specify the PowerShell script file to be executed when the trigger sets off. The file is located in the HC installation directory in program files, hosting controller, tools. Select the exchange object attributes that will be affected by the trigger. Finally hit the Add Trigger button. The trigger will be added. Once the trigger is created, it will be visible under the Manage Triggers section in the panel and can be edited, disabled, or even deleted. More than one trigger can be added through Hosting Controller. Hosting Controller also allows you to track down various operations and record events through its audit logging facility. To view the event log for the trigger, Click the configurations cog on the top and hit the audit logs menu under system. You will find a complete log of the trigger with the kind of operation performed, the timestamp, the IP log, and the action type of the CRUD operation. You may also view the full details of the log. Create and execute specified PowerShell commands on the creation, modification, or deletion of certain exchange objects through hosting controller. Try hosting controller today.